right, Reckless Redneck community. We're here down at uh, Birkenhead Lake. We're going to uh, be filming our very first flight of uh, the Sport Cub, um, or Super Cub, sorry. And first time we've had her on float. The water's looking pretty fucking choppy. I mean, freaking choppy. But uh, yeah, we're gonna do what we can. Might be taking off from this little stream over here because it's some nice calm water. We've got Jeff here, girlfriend Taryn. Nice little barbecue in the Sport Cub, just waiting. Just waiting! So we'll be back and uh, hopefully the next time you see this, it's going to be this over there in the air, doing some flying. Yeah. All right, everybody. So we're gonna launch this thing in a very precarious spot. Hold on, it's being bitten by a fly. Ugh, oh, sucker. Anyways, yeah, so we're gonna launch here and uh, this is it. Anytime you're ready. Nice. Nice. That was a beauty takeoff, bud. Oh, she's flying like a butte with those floats on too. No problems at all. She looks good up there with those floats on, man. Bring her, uh, yeah, bring her in for a couple of close passes if you can, just so I can get her, get a real good look at her. Beauty. Man, that thing freaking flies great. No matter what you do, and that's so much bottom weight on that thing. It still just flies. Awesome. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. You should, um... You should try a touch and go. If you it, like, as soon as you're comfortable, like try making a couple of passes, seeing how it feels, and then uh, think about doing a touch and go. Oh, that looks good. Oh, oh, <laughs> you gave me a heart attack there, buddy. That was beauty, though. You handled that well. That was a that was a that was a good sketchy touch and go. <laughs> oh, you guys can't hear that, but Mr. Jeff just said he's going to try and come in for a landing here. See how she works out. It's looking good. It's looking real good. Flare, flare, flare. Oh, oh, oh. Nice. Beauty. Beauty, bud. Beauty, bud. Oh, yeah. All right, everybody, Jeff's been on the control. I guess it's my turn to do my very first float plane test. And, uh, yeah, I'll go. Ready. All right.
Goddamn fly is fighting. Whoa, that is, oh, that is weird. That's getting some nice things there, yeah. That's why I was letting the wind, yeah, bring me down and then diving at it. Heads up, heads up. Oh, I did not see all those people showing up. <laughs> people now. Dude, the other way. If anything. And there's someone in the water also. That would have been perfect if you're on the right side of that log. Do that, but come closer to us. Yeah. Then it'll be the first full water landing. Oh, you got it. You got it. using the wrong rudder channel. <laughs> Whoa, whoa, what? Really? Zero? Ouch. Uh, so that was a loss of control on the aircraft. We are gonna have to go over and inspectify this. This, uh, this doesn't look good, folks. You can clearly see that we have lost one of the pontoons. Looks to be ripped right out of the foam. down here. Alright, sorry, I just had to uh, get that battery unplugged.
Well, it uh, looks like Jeff forgot to put the screws into the wing. I don't know if that saved it or not. Um, so it was only being held on by the elastics and uh, the battery pushed itself right up through the pod door there. And uh, yeah, it ripped right off of there. That's not, that's not what made you lose control. It's definitely not what made you lose control. I would say it's probably the transmitter was just too low and you did not have full signal capability. But all in all, she looks like she's okay. There's Jeff the pilot. Poor crash, damn it.